What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel on Torque Drift on the mobile platform. But today we're going to talk about that FDRX7 the, that I've been building. It is now pro status. It's got a little bit of a livery and it rips. But before we get into doing that and getting some tandems with that car, we're going to talk a little bit about the update that's coming up. And that is that of Vaughn Gittin Jr., Chelsea Danofa, the fun havers. They blasted out on Instagram, Torque Drift a picture of them saying update coming in a few days definitely super excited to see those cars coming in here definitely going to be trying to get a hold of them myself and doing some episodes on that but today we're going to be talking about that fd rx7 that is now a pro status car here in the game and as you can see it does have a little bit of a livery wise fab links torque drift energy of course and the fd door blackers with rabbit on it so this car is definitely up there when it comes to power and stuff like that it's over a thousand horsepower we're running almost all full pro except our intercooler and then of course for our front we're running all that except the brakes which i gotta get in the store in order to do that so let's take a look at the store see if we get some parts to buy for our pro status stuff we got nothing nothing we can buy so unfortunately we cannot buy any pro status parts but like i said the fd is definitely a massive car now so we're gonna hit the track see what we can do with it and see show you guys exactly what's up we got infinity at irwindale definitely a awesome track cali banks so fdr7 run of those custom tires we can see what we can do in the first run here on the infinity course so if you guys are enjoying Torture, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all the fun in the description box below. Looks like we got a nice S14 to go after. Very close power match. So let's see how we can do. We're going to start in third gear. Just so we don't spin too much. Shift into fourth. A little bit of a hesitation on there, but Dragon Bumper. Kind of wavery through there. It was not a... 100% settled in on that position right there. Missed that clip. Gonna try and bring it up to the wall. Get these final clips and get some wall rides. Infinity course, definitely a fun course. You gotta get it kind of perfect, otherwise you're gonna hit the wall pretty hard. So we got a 92 on our lead, so not a bad lead. 92 to 48, wall dragon on entry. So let's see what we can do in the chase position here with the FD. I could start in second gear, but I tend to like starting in third just because it helps with the wheel spin on, an, on the beginning. Oh no, biffed it in the wall. We gotta catch up. Let me cut the single out just to get some proximity. Oh, and like I said, you gotta be almost perfect or that definitely happens. He kind of sent it into the wall too much. RIP to his 14. And we're going to finish that up. So we did take the win on that. We're probably going to give him another chance because I didn't like my entry at all either. So hopefully he's going to want to go again maybe. He definitely had a better chase, but I kind of screwed up. So we're going to give him another chance here on Cali Banks Infinity. We're going to start this one in second gear this time. A little, uh, little slow, lax entry, but kind of causing us to hit the wall. Not as close to those as I'd like to be. A little bit of a wall drag there. Not the cleanest of runs here by any means. This track definitely not my best. And unfortunately, we're going to probably take the loss with this one. Only a 68, but he DQ'd. So we will still take the win car not that well set up for this track I don't think so we're gonna head back see what other tracks there are GG sir to you see what other tracks we can get into here for today's episode what do we got we got the slab we got jump let's take it to the jump we got a jump drift so we're gonna take the FD to the jump drift see what we can do with it so like I said if you guys like this make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter and if you guys keep wanting to see Torch Drift content, let me know it in the comments. I know you do. We're going to be bringing the update content as much as I can. That's a pretty nice 14. Got the same wheels as me. Rocking those five spokes. Deep dish in the rear. Kind of poking out my fenders, though. 
We start us ourselves in second gear. Throw it in fourth. Initiate in. Handle the jump pretty well. Over the hump. Ooh. Better in the throttle so I don't totally write that off. Pretty decent through that section. Kind of tagging the wall. Staying a little bit off the wall here. Would like to be a little bit closer, but every time I say that, I smack into the wall. You guys know it. You guys haze me in the comments. But oh, right, you go right. Let's get closer. Taps the wall. I wonder wish I was closer. Rex. 106 on the lead. Looks like Slippy got a 56. So we're going to try and chase this out. He's rocking the no bumper. Kind of an, ortho an orthodox entry for me, but I was trying to find the gearing. I need to adjust my uh, button parameters for gear up, make it bigger, and move the downshift so I don't accidentally downshift by mistake. Oh, almost lost the bumper. We're taking a clip with us, We're taking a cone clip with us. Oh, so that's what happened, man. Slippy slipped a little bit too far into the wall. But we're able to come out with a very decent chase for the run here at the jump. 133 to 92. Got a pretty good chase run. So we're going to go see what other tracks we can come up with for today. Or we'll try the jump one more time. FD. Definitely a new favorite car of mine. And I'm loving the uh, little simple livery I got on here. Simple but effective. Little rabbit on the FD placards. I gotta put the numbers in those, but just decided to do rabbit in there. It's getting frustrated with trying to put evil rabbit in there. <sighs> Can only get the letters so small. Apparently, we're not gonna find anybody, so we're gonna try this one more time. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I just glitched the game. Devs. I think I did a thing. Huge jump. I wonder if we're actually going to have somebody to go against. That was not the way to do that part. Bring that out. There we go. So this car has definitely become my one of my favorite cars to drive right now. I think it's replaced the E46 in my favorite car and favorite, you know, chase car to run. Keep true with that rotary too. Not switching into an LS. So did we have some, we did have something to go against. It's like Robbie works. Don't even know what kind of car he is, but he rocked an 88. Looks like a purple E30. So we do have something to go against. I keep saying I'm gonna switch my buttons. I gotta switch that. Oh, that was a very bad entry. So now I gotta kind of make up ground because he was right on me in the lead position, so. And somewhat make up points in this chase. Being a little bit offline is kind of totally screwed up my flow. Oh, that wall tap didn't help either. I'll probably take a loss on there because I was not 100% where I needed to be on the track. Probably need to change some uh, stuff around, but we still took the win. Okay. All right. We still took the win. So let's go switch up our controls real quick. Move the left foot brake a little bit. Switch it with clutch because I have the double tap for clutch. So we're going to go settings, controls, customize. So move the clutch kick. Move the brake up top there. Now we'll just move the brake in this. We're going to move the brake. We're going to move the clutch on the bottom. So we're going to move this. We're going to make the gear up a little bit bigger. We're going to move the gear down all the way out of the way. There we go. We'll try that. So we're going to try this setup here. I think we're going to go to the slab to finish this episode off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode with this FD. More episodes coming, like I said, with the updates and everything coming. You guys will see it here and get my take on it. If I get my hands on those uh, RTRs, I definitely will and let you guys know what I think about them. But unfortunately, we glitched the game again. All right. So we have somebody to go against. Not sure what they're driving, but. Let's 
Throw it in. Ooh, kind of too soon on that. Haven't run the slab in a minute. Throw hard on that left foot brake though. It's nice to have that big brake there. So I don't usually downshift when I'm on these tracks. So having downshift all the way down at the bottom is not gonna cause me a problem. Just need to make sure I get up in the gears. So unorthodox entry, but nonetheless a solid run. 115 to 70. So we're gonna follow this guy in chase. Looks like he's got an S15. Throw it in. Trying to stay as close as I can. Let me cut the single a little. Ooh, there we go. Oh, big straighten up by him. But we'll be able to follow. Double, double tap for a clutch kick. Little clutch kick there. Ooh, a little bit of waiver bomb on my part, but still nonetheless, we are right there. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on <laughs> Evil Rabbit. And uh, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate all the comments. 155 to 85. Five win streak. Not a bad way to run today's episode. So, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.